right, today I'm going to review the Bowley Dinosaur Articulated Figures. I mean, this isn't really a dinosaur set, but you have a Mosasaurus and a Mammoth here. More like a prehistoric animal articulated set. Um, I found these on Amazon, I got them, and today I'm going to review them. Some of them are awful, some of them are okay, and others are really good. So yeah. First we'll be starting off with the Triceratops, and I could say the Triceratops looks pretty good. Has some accuracies, like long horns, cheeks, has a bit of osteoderms, which is pretty accurate since we found out that they have osteoderms. Yeah, it sucks that they have bumps on the frills, but it's fine because they're fading away and not actual bumps you see in media. Also, the feet are correct. They are not, they're not elephant feet. Sure, the toe, some of the toes are touching the ground, but it's fine. Looks pretty nice. But for the articulation, uh, the feet can move, and that's it. I wish the head could have moved. No neck articulation, which sucks, but it's fine. I like the coloring in the pattern, especially the stripes here. The stripes look really nice. Alright, next is the Stegosaurus, and this is honestly the worst figure. Alright, the head is very creepy, has black beady eyes, has very sharp teeth, has no beak, and it has lips. This thing is hideous. Well, at least the head is. The plates here look very cool in this fiery pattern. They have a fiery color and also has a fiery like pattern, which looks awesome in my opinion. The rest of the body is of a generic green color, has some okay spots, and even has some osteoderms, although they might be like rashes. The spiky things on the tail are here. I don't know what they're called, so please someone tell me in the comments below. I believe the feet are accurate. Uh, we hear on the underbelly it says made in china okay the head can move or broke its neck the legs can move and the tail can move all right next is the mosasaurus um i don't know why i said it was a dinosaur pack when there's a mammoth and a mosasaurus this thing is a marine reptile by the way um it looks pretty nice it's pretty nice i mean it has an overbite which sucks um i should probably have like lips like a normal marine rep, rep like a normal um marine animal the tail moves, and it's pretty loose, and it has... Okay, honestly, this thing ha did not need tail articulation. The tail articulation is so bad. If I ever get like, hands on, like, Gorilla Glue, I might glue the tail permanently so it doesn't have awful articulation. The flippers also can move, but that's okay with me. Even though they cut into the paint and they're not really needed, uh, I guess you can use them to balance the figure on, like, a shelf or something. It has a white underbelly, which is, I guess, pretty accurate because, like a normal um, animal, a normal marine animal, it would need a, a white underbelly for this top part and a dark part for the, you know, from above. It has a blue stripe, has articulated jaw, which is pretty, pretty cool. Also, one cool thing is it has the Bowley logo on its flipper. As you can see here, it has the Bowley logo on its flipper. Next is what Bowley thinks is an Ornithomimus, even though this looks more like a raptor. Every time I'm going to talk about this figure, it's known as the Dromaeosaurus. So looking at the head, it's it's pretty, it's shrink-wrapped. It's really badly shrink-wrapped. Also, some of the teeth aren't painted, and they're very small. The teeth remind me of the Trodon from Walking with Dinosaurs Teeth. It's covered in downy feathers, which kind of sucks because raptors are supposed to be covered in contour feathers, the ones birds have. It's not that bad. They have wings, and the hands are in the correct position. Yeah, it doesn't have a tail fan, but it's fine. The feet are big and chunky, like very big. You got big feet. The nail painting is pretty bad, but the color aspect, it's, it's pretty good. One thing I find cool is that if the inside of the wings are actually detailed. And also the claws are really sharp. Uh -huh. Alright, the next is the Dilophosaurus. And two things I want to get out here. Uh, the hands are pronated, which is pretty inaccurate, and it sucks. And the face looks really bad. It looks really weird. Uh, the paint job is okay. I don't like the boring spots here. Could have been cool. Um, it has this black thing right here. What is this? Feathers? Quills? What is this? Um, and the tail is pretty long, which is pretty cool. It's a little wavy, but even then, I'm pretty sure they were able to blush. Come, come, uh, able to do this, basically. I don't know how to speak today. The tail can move. The legs can move. The arms can move. And the head can move. I broke his neck. All right, next is the Brachiosaurus. Um, the one thing I can say is that the face looks pretty weird. Um, if you can tell here, the teeth look pretty, pretty weird. 
they're really sloppily painted the eyes look look crazed it looks like he's a cocaine addict also the nostrils are on top of the head instead of on the lower half which is pretty inaccurate and outdated detail uh you get you could tell the head can turn the the neck for here is instead of white it's just this brown color that matches the legs and the underbelly and other the tail it's just kind of weird uh, as you can tell here, the legs can move. They also don't have any toes on them, which is correct. And back here, they have the claws, which is also correct. They, this moves as well. I like the blue dots on him, although I kind of wish it was all over the body, including the tail. Also, the tail can also move. It's kind of a weird thing you can do, but yeah, the tail moves. Okay, second to last is the Mammoth, and this is one of the best figures here. I like how they detailed the fur and how nice it looks. I mean, it doesn't look as nice as the Safari Limited Mastodon where the fur looks so good it would probably fluffed, but it still looks good. Uh, the feet are accurately elephant feet because these things are elephants, basically. Um, it has a weird lump thing, so it reminds me of a step mammoth, but this is probably a woolly mammoth. It has the iconically short but Asian elephant sh small ears, has a bumpy head, one thing that's cool is that the trunk can actually articulate, which is awesome. The legs can move, which are pretty good. I kind of wish the tail could move. The tusks look really good. Um, but be careful, because if you handle them too much, they might break. Alright, now for the best part of this set, the T-Rex. Now this T-Rex is very accurate, probably the most accurate out of all set. It's very fat and chunky. Has the short little arm with two fingers the hands aren't pronated it has feathers which is pretty accurate i love the fact that the feathers are here it has an articulated jaw though it doesn't close that well the hands can move the legs can move and unfortunately the tail can move yeah i'm probably gonna glue this tail eventually <clears throat> the short arms and the fact that the snout is a little bit long reminds me of a tarbosaurus in fact isn't this a tarbosaurus Whatever, it's still really, still really good. I really like the addition of the feathers here because I like feathered T-Rexes, especially the figures. Um, yeah, it has some. The only problem I could see is that the stomach here is kind of shrink wrapped. But other than that, super good. Ten out of ten, the best figure out of the whole set. All right, this set is really, really good. Sure, there are some bad parts like the Stegosaurus head, the articulation on the theropod tails, and the fact that the Mosasaurus tail is able to move, and you can't close the mouth on some of them really full. But other than that, this set is really, really good. I really enjoyed it, and I really wanted to get it for the longest time. My favorite one has to be the T-Rex, of course. That was my review, and I hope you enjoyed.